Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Mkolisi, the son of Nube. I hope I find you all well and gearing up for a fruitful weekend. Well, many of you would have already heard that the SADAC held an extraordinary meeting of the Ministerial Committee of the Organ Troika uh, on the 26th of September. Well, it was a, a virtual meeting which uh, partly discussed the Zimbabwean elections and the SADC observer mission that was sent to Zimbabwe, which was, as you know, headed by Dr. Nevas Mumba, who is also the former Zambian vice president. You know that he released a scathing attack on the Zimbabwean Electoral Commission uh, in the manner in which it handled the polls on, on, on the 23rd of, of August, which had to spill over to the following day because of gross irregularities in terms of dispatching the ballot papers. So the SADC now has released uh, its minutes uh, of that extraordinary uh, meeting. And we're going to go through some of them. But the main thing is that they expressed uh, reservations on the manner in which Dr. Nevas Mumba and his team were treated, especially the attacks uh, on Dr. Nevas Mumba by ZANU-PF officials, uh, especially uh, Mr. Patrick Chinamasa and the ZANU-PF spokesperson who is uh, Chris, Ambassador Chris Mutswanga. After Dr. Mumba and his team released that report, there were personal attacks directed at him by Chris Mutswanga, as I've said, and Patrick Chinamasa, among others, and there were accusations that he was doing this because he was specifically sent to express negative views on the Zimbabwean election to undermine the Zimbabwean state, to undermine the people of Zimbabwe, to undermine the electoral processes of Zimbabwe and the Zimbabwean constitution. Yet Dr. Mumba had actually relied on the Zimbabwean constitution and the Zimbabwean Electoral Act in interpreting uh, the findings that the Sadco Election Observer Mission came up with because they considered those legal statutes that Zimbabwe has in as far as the holding of the elections in Zimbabwe uh, is concerned. So as a decision taken by the ministerial committee, uh, I'm going to read through what they said. Uh, it is under decision one, update on elections in the region. So among the recommendations made to the Ogun Troika on security uh, was that they should express deep concern on the personal attacks that were made by some individuals against the chairperson of the organ and the head of the static electoral uh, observation mission to the harmonized elections that were held in Zimbabwe in August 2023 and commend Dr. Nevas Mumba, former vice president of the Republic of Zambia for his leadership of the SADC electoral observer, observation mission to the Republic of Zimbabwe, uh, commend the experts who were seconded by such member states to serve as observers during the harmonized elections in Zimbabwe, and to commend the Secretariat for protecting the credibility and leadership of the SADC organ and the SADC electoral observation mission. They also uh, advised them to direct the Secretariat to ensure that the organ Troika member states continue to process, adopt, and own the reports of the SADC Electoral Observer Mission. So this was after uh, the meeting uh, noted with concern the personal attacks and threats on the media that were made and, uh, by some PF officials and directed at the SEOM head of mission, uh, Dr. Mumba, and the chairperson of the organ, His Excellency, Mr. Akainde Hichilema, since the SAD uh, election observer mission released its preliminary statement uh, on the Zimbabwean elections on the 25th of August 2023, they said the attacks were made by individuals in both the ruling ZANU PF party and some in high level positions in the government of Zimbabwe. The narrative in these attacks 
have been uh, that the SEOM preliminary statement on the Zimbabwean elections was personally authored by Dr. Mumba. The meeting had further noted that attacks like those undermine the such principles and guidelines governing democratic uh, elections and might have negative bearing on the SEOMs that are to be deployed in the future elections, especially with another election coming on the 29th of September in the Kingdom of Eswatini. They also reiterated that the SEOMs are in line with the SAD principles and guidelines governing democratic elections and that the reports are produced by a collective of the, of the member states observers led by the organ troika and supported by the secretariat. Among the concerns raised by the troika are that there is a high risk that if unchecked, further attacks on the leadership of the organ and of the SEOM have the potential to damage the credibility of such as an institution. They also acknowledged and commended the Secretariat for taking the initiative to issue media statements that clarified the procedures that are followed by the SEOM and in the same statements for protecting the credibility and leadership of the organ and the SEOM. In order to manage the situation and avert future attacks on the leadership of the organ and SEOMs and restore the dignity and resilience of SATC and its long-standing structures, the EOMCO Troika recommended as follows that the Secretariat remains uh, proactive in its efforts at protecting the credibility and leadership of the such structures such as the ESEOM. Given that some circumstances are not predictable and that there will always be some individuals who will not agree with the SEOM, all reports and statements should be crafted in a manner that ensures relevant procedures and rules are followed to protect the such institutions from unwarranted attacks. They should also continue to field technically experienced staff from the Secretariat who are complemented complemented by capacitated observers to facilitate the work of the SEOM. And finally, the Secretariat will ensure that the organ troika member states continue to process, adopt and own the reports of the SEOM so as to avoid unwarranted suggestions that the reports are the product of one individual or member state, uh, as is, is the case uh, with the SEOM's report which was then uh, presented by ZANU-PF leaders as the works of one person, that is Dr. Nevas Mumba, at the behest of his leader, who is President Hakainde Hichilema of Zambia, who is the one who hated the Troika, which seconded him to the SEOM. So as a way forward, uh, we have to explain to you again the procedure that is going to be followed uh, after the submission of the report, uh, what happens is that the report will be given to the member states that held, uh, that held elections, that is Zimbabwe, which may consider the recommendations advanced by the SEOM for improving the conduct of elections and then submit uh, to the chair of the organ a response to the SEOM report. Then this will be considered in the next start meeting, which is going to be held in the case of Zimbabwe. 2024. This is the update that we had for you. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it.